Hello everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to share something that new that's going to happen on my channel in 2022. I am going... My goal for 2022 is to pay off most, if not all, of my unsecured debts. Um, so not my mortgage or my car payments or, or things like that, like the credit cards, the loans, the silly little things that we all have. And I've decided to go with the budget mom system. I have done lots of reviews on different ones, and this one seems to be one that will work most closely to the way that I have been doing it already personally. Um, I just wanted a separate planner to kind of, because you guys know I love planners anyway, so I will be incorporating the planner with this Filofax planner that I'm going to be doing some cash stuffing with. I just want to get more of a control of my spending and things like that and also be able to build up a savings and do a little more things. Um, ultimately, my five-year goal is to build a new house, so that's what we're going for. Um... So on Mondays in my channel, we are going to be doing a weekly check-in on how I've done budget-wise and spending and to see if I've been able to stick to the budget and if I can rein in any more. Um, full disclosure, I will not <laughs> be sharing my entire financial outlook. This planner will house the financial, the entire, fi my, my entire financial outlet, my, including my husband as well. Um, but I'm not going to share all of my income and all of his income and all of the other bills. This is basically just going to be paying off some unsecured loans and um, the bills that I'm responsible for each month. So we're just going to do a weekly check-in. And basically I'm putting this out there on YouTube to be held accountable for it. Um, because I make a plan and I follow a plan pretty well. And then something comes up and I'm like, eh we'll just redo the plan and no one will know <laughs> but this way I'm, I'm hoping that you guys will kind of hold me accountable for it um i know a lot of my scrapbooker um subbies these videos may not be interested interesting to you which is totally fine it's just one day a week uh it's going to be on mondays because i'm going to call it my money money monday check-ins to see how i did for the previous week and that is pretty much it. So let's look at the binder and kind of get a feel for what I'm going to be doing. I like the box. So we're going to move this to the side because there is this fun little shipping thing. And then there is a um, little QRC code on the back for a discount. And we've got a little bookmark here for... Um, Miko Love, and she's also got a My Money Why Way, and she is the budget mom. So that's a little ad for her. And then here's how it's packaged. Real pretty. She's got a cute little, I don't know if I'll be able to see it, the thank you for supporting the budget mom. I appreciate you. So that's kind of cute that she personally signs everything. Now, um, they're originally, oops, sorry, holy, holy Moses, I have messed, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> my bad. There were two um, covers when I originally looked. A peony one and a um, this paint stroke one. By the time I actually pulled the trigger, this is the one that was left, which is totally fine. So we are going to go ahead and open this up. This is a very big planner. And like I said, just to be held more accountable, I do have some plans for our future and if I don't get my spending under control, I need to fix the camera one more time. It's it's going to be insane because um, it's not him. It's it's me. <laughs> it's me. I definitely I like to shop. So it comes with this a very well. That is a very sturdy cover. I do like the coil. Um, this little cardboard piece so that it doesn't bend in shipping. We have a little. Announcement. I know you guys have probably seen this if you're watching this because I have seen several of these. Um, this is like, if found, contact. This is not going to leave my desk office area. Um, we do have instructions on how everything works, which I will read that over. But after watching a few of the videos and going over, well, not a few, a lot of the videos, I feel like I have kind of an idea of what I would do. This is where I'm going to go ahead 
and fill out my financial plan, my goal worksheets. So within one year, which is the short term, and we know I want to pay off um, just a few things. So I do already kind of, I had, since I was waiting for it, I decided to just go ahead and start like writing things down. So in the short term, I want to pay off, I want to get, I'm going to start, um, what do they call them? It's going to be envelopes, uh, sinking funds. I'm going to have one for Christmas vacation savings and an emergency fund where I'm going to cash stuff envelopes. And I'm going to start on just those four, putting a little bit in every week because I get paid weekly. Uh, and then once I start getting a little bit of my debt paid off, go ahead and add more um, things in there. But my goal is to have Amazon, my Amazon credit card, my Discover credit card, and... My Home Depot credit card, I have a dentist bill, and my husband has a doctor's bill. They're very low, but I still, you know, it's like, oh, I don't have to pay them, but $25. No, I just want to pay off, even if it's $200. I just want to get it paid off. And I, so those are the ones that I want to get paid off. So that is definitely what's going to go in my short term. My five-year goal, I would like to be able to build a house, and I want to have uh, um, a few more loans paid off from there. And then long term, within 10 to 15 years, I, you know, ultimately would like to have no car payments or anything like that. But that's the other thing. It comes with a membership and subscription reminder, which is good because we sign up for things and then forget about them. And it's like it's only $4.99 a month, but I don't ever use it, so whatever. So I'm going to put that in there, and I have made a list of that. And then here is the yearly savings. So these would be, I believe, your, yeah, these are the, what we would call our sinking funds. And as of right now, I only have four. And then I have a few more that I'm going to add on later. So it kind of shows, break down, you know, what you want to get out of them. And that's like the cash stuffing envelopes. And then here are the, the corresponding, like, color charts to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and color those in when I, like, meet a portion of it or whatever. Yearly spending, so this is kind of your expense overview for the year for like the months, and expenses I would say would be my bills. Uh, I am going to, like I said, look at that. Your yearly balance, again, just kind of following along with how I'm saving money. It's got savings balance, debt balance, retirement, and net worth. I am not going to do the retirement balance or the net worth. I have a 401k and we have some other options Come on, focus. Um, in places, so that's not going to be tracked in here at all. I have the bill tracker here, so I guess that other one was not. <laughs> Medical payments, so this is where I'm going to be going to put my dentist bill in our, and the doctor bill. And then just a couple notes pages, and then it gets into the dear future, I'm ready. So here's January, Now I'm going to start in January. It is all undated, so you could start any month of the year. So this is where I will put like the calendar view of my bills and such and then we'll break into like week one and I'm going to do all my budget and stuff out and my sinking funds and here's the cash breakdown and this is just all week one so I will have this all filled out when I come back and film for you guys hold please so this is going up on the 28th and I will have, of December, and then I will have, on the 3rd of January, I will come back and this will all be filled out, and we'll see the start, and then every Monday after we will check in to see how we do. So it just kind of, each week, so you have two, three, four, and you have five weeks, and then here's your expense tracker, so it's basically just a very large checkbook to me, like, you know, you just have to write everything down. I will go ahead and do that as well. So you have several pages there. I don't see me needing that many pages, I hope. And then you go into the January debt payment plan. And I will fill all of this out and all of this out to the best of my abilities. And I will share what I can and what I feel is, you know, important to share with you guys. And then this one is a good one. Where'd my money go? Because I ask that all the time. But where'd all my money go? So we're going to go ahead and track that. And you have three of those. And then you have a um, meal plan. And so you can plan out your meals and kind of budget your groceries. And then this is the 
really, really cute where you cut these out when you go to the bank and you say this is what I want in hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, fives, and ones. So that's kind of cute. So you don't have to say it out loud to the teller and people hear you. You just hand them this note and they know. Um, so people don't know how much money you're taking out. I'm going to start with very small amounts and build up as I get things paid off. And then it starts again in February. So that is my plan. I don't know if there's anything back here in the back of the book. Um, nope, just December's. So yeah, that is my plan. That is what I hope. Oh, and some fun stickers. That's what I hope to accomplish. And like I said, on the 3rd, I won't really have any kind of check-in other than I will have this all filled out, budgeted, and we're going to go weekly because I get paid weekly. And basically, um, the reason that I started to do this, like I said, is to be accountable. And I actually wrote all of my stuff down, everything. And it was almost sickening to me um, what I pay out in debt. And to me, it was like I seen another, I believe it was um, Life in Envelopes. The way she explained it made so much sense is a bill is your telephone bill, your water bill, your power bill. That even when I'm retired and old, I will still be paying those bills. But my Discover card is a debt because eventually it will be paid off. My, I have a loan that, I, that you know, that will eventually be paid off. Um, I am going to go ahead and include my mortgage uh, that I mortgage payment for my rental property that I won in my divorce I didn't want it but I want it um, because that is almost paid off that only has a couple thousand dollars left on it and I would like to get that paid off so that it is the rent that I receive from that a month is pure income and not half of it going to the monthly mortgage payment so that is going to be in here stuff like that um, so you'll be able to see like my rent and the stuff that I get like income like that through my crafty business um, FYI, it's not a lot, so it's just going to be me utilizing the most of my money in the best possible way and writing it down and putting it on YouTube and being held accountable for it by you lovely viewers. Um, don't be, I mean, I don't think you guys would be mean or anything, but as far as like, you said you were going to do this and then you changed the plan. I don't want to change the plan anymore, you guys. I don't. And when I wrote it all down, I literally was sick because the amount that I pay in bills a month it's like $600 <laughs> that I pay in bills for power, water, and cell phones and stuff like that. Like I said, it's not including my mortgages or my car payments or stuff like that. Uh, my husband takes care of all of those. Um, but it is more like the amount that I pay out in credit card or payment plans because I have went on a shopping spree online and bought a whole bunch of things. And it is sickening to know that the majority of my monthly income goes to paying off debt and I should not be in debt. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. Um, the debt that I'm looking to pay off is like 10 to $12,000. It is not anywhere near what I know it has been or could be or what some people are, but because it is so low, and my minimum payments a month are so low. Do you see where I'm going with this? Is that it can get out of control very quickly to where it becomes a problem. And then I have to go cry to my husband and he has to fix it. And that is just not what I want to do, <laughs> to be honest. So I do hope you guys will come along this journey with me and help me and support me through this budgeting. I have also made sure that I've budgeted in crafty spending money because obviously, yeah, I can't live without crafty spending money. So... Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I hope to see you guys every Monday here with me on my check-in, and I will see you guys then. Bye!